Hello everyone, Jeff from RespawnStudios.com and EasyXbox360Achievements.com back with another 5 star case guide in LA Noir. This is going to be for the second traffic case, a marriage made in heaven, where it looks like a hit and run but the guy was actually stabbed and just happened to stumble into the street and be hit. Alright, so as always, just to avoid doing any potential damage, just go to the passenger side of the car and hold down Y to let your partner drive. Looks like the DA is gonna press charges. Alright, so at this initial crime scene, there are going to be four pieces of evidence that we need to pick up. And then in the conversation that we have with the witness, there's going to be two more key pieces of evidence. And then in the conversation with the bartender, there is one more key piece of evidence. So seven in total at this location. So there's our first witness over there, the first person we're going to interview after we get some evidence. Alright, so to begin, obviously we're going to straddle the dead body. <laughs> um, we're going to get an insurance letter from one of the coat pockets, and then from the other we're going to examine the wallet, and as usual with wallets, you have to tap the ID for it to count. Now you see the guy was already suspicious of the insurance taken out on him. He <laughs> said, what the fuck on the letter? And then you can pick out the money to look at it in more detail, but it doesn't add anything. But he does make a comment about it. And you can play around with his hands or head, <laughs> but there's no other key piece of evidence there. And now, um, the second you get off the body, the coroner starts talking to you, and you get the coroner's report, key piece of evidence. So now we have three. And then our final one, before we get into conversations, is going to be a bloody knife. And the bloody knife is also going to get you an achievement if you pick it up here the first time you're at the crime scene because it's sort of out of the way and they don't give you any sort of um, clues about it as they usually do with big pieces of evidence. But if you pick up and examine this knife, aptly called the bloody knife, um, you're going to get an achievement called Stab Right. And for some reason it seems to randomly um, give it to you when you get to the coroner's office during the mission instead of at the end of the mission but that's when you find out that the guy had in fact been stabbed before the hit and run all right and now this interview again i'm not going to show the whole thing um you're going to select truth for eyewitness report truth for suspect vehicle description and the only thing that isn't truth is arguments overheard which is doubt so I believe the, it's the top two choices even are truth and argument overheard is the only one to doubt. And by selecting those choices, you're going to be um, given the arguments overheard key piece of evidence and the red Lincoln Continental key piece of evidence. And now inside the bar, again, this isn't important for five star in a case, but I'm just going to point out the newspapers just so you can work toward the 100% completion percentage as well. And um, these videos should also help you get every correct dialogue option. So getting the 100% won't be entirely possible through these videos because you also need the golden film reels and the cars and the locations. <laughs> but I'll try and make separate videos for each of those. All right, and now this is the bartender, Dudley Lynch. And this conversation has four choices. Three of them are doubts. Hit and run incident is doubt. The association with victim, which you see there is the second choice, is the only one that isn't doubt. So it's the one that I'm going to show here in the video. Um, and this is truth. But the other three things are doubts. 
And initially you only have the three options, but if you select doubt for hit and run, truth for association with victim, and for arguments overheard in bar, you select doubt, you'll be given a fourth option, which is joint business venture. And for that, you select doubt. And then you'll be given um, the Lynch's statement, key piece of evidence for that. And he mentioned um, the guy, Leroy Sabo, but you're phoning in to you R&I right now about the partial license plate, trying to get an identification, and it conveniently happens to be only one possible <laughs> red Lincoln Continental with that partial license plate. So we're going to head there next. You can also choose to go to um, the Widow's residence, the Patterson residence, but you don't have to. The order doesn't really matter in terms of getting five stars, but I'm just used to going to the Shelton residence, which is the guy who apparently owns the car. All right, and this is going to be our first uh, epic car chase. After we can't fit through that gap, <laughs> so we have to go around the bench. Um, so to do the car chases, there are really a couple different ways to do it. You can try and bump into the back of the car. You can bump into the side. Um, that's the first way, just bumping into them somehow. Uh, if you catch up to them, and usually you're able to go a little faster, they slow down at a certain point. The other way is to go up along the left side of the car and your partner shoots out the passenger side at the tires, trying to shoot out the tires, and then it could spin out. Or the final way, no matter which car chase it is, I think just about every single one in the game, if you just follow them closely enough for a long time, they're going to crash themselves. So <laughs> it's up to you. So here I'm trying to slam into the wheel well. And just try and mess up his axles and tires, which they tell you to do. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed so parts of the car are flying off, but he's still fine. <laughs> it was good that I was able to slow down there, because if I smashed up that guy's car, I probably would have done a couple thousand dollars worth of damage, and we might not have gotten five stars. So this is what I mean when I say have your partner drive. Because <laughs> even if you're not like just a bad driver, sometimes trying to knock the other car out of the way gets you knocked into other cars or people, which could cripple your rating. So just be careful. All right, but then when you catch up, he admits that he uh, had a hit and run before, and he was just trying to get out. <laughs> so now we're going to see the... Pattinson's, now that that guy's under arrest for questioning, though we're never going to have to question him, actually. So again, just select the location from your notebook, and then go to the passenger seat, hold Y, and have your partner drive. And again, you can drive. There's, You could just drive carefully to ensure that you're not going to do any damage, but it's just much easier and quicker to have your partner drive, so I'm just going to show that method in all of these videos. All right, so for this, again, I'm not going to show the conversation. Um, you're going to select doubt for two of the three options. The hit and run incident is doubt, and the nature of arguments is doubts. The only one that isn't doubt is, I believe, the final option, which is the partnership with Leroy Sabo, and that is a lie and use the insurance letter to prove that it, it is a lie. And I'm also going to point something else out here real quick. Um, you can use the phone in here instead of using one outside to call R&I. But um, there's an achievement, which I believe is called the hunch, and it is to correctly use intuition points four times in a row. So... We couldn't have done it there because there are only three questions in the dialogue option, but you see I've built up enough intuition points. So like, um, if you wanted to use it on that Dudley Lynch interview where there are four questions, when you're in the conversation, instead of selecting doubt, truth, or lie, you could hit 
I think, left bumper, and it is to use an intuition point. And you could um, see what people that have played the game selected. But then um, you could just use intuition points anyway and still use what I said and pick the choices as long as you selected use intuition point and then make the right choice. If you do it four times in one conversation, you get a 30-point achievement. You're behind the wheel. So that's pretty sweet. I think the um, achievement picture is even a little number four that looks like the Fantastic Four logo. All right, so now um, after we called R&I, we got um, a message to go to the coroner. So that's where I selected that we're going to go next. And you're just going to be there for like two seconds because I'm going to skip the cutscene, which you could always do by hitting A, except for the opening cutscenes of cases, which you cannot skip. So here he's explaining to you that um, he was stabbed, and that was why he died. He didn't die from the injuries from the hit and run. He would have survived otherwise. So now we're going to go back and question Mrs. Pattison again and Leroy Sabo, see if they know anything about that. But instead, it turns into a shitstorm. <laughs> so just select their residence again to make the marker on your map if you're going to have your partner drive. And then just hold down Y. And now we're getting to the very end of the case. All right, so now we're back at the Pattison residence. When you go to the door, there's going to be a cutscene, which, again, if you've already beaten the game and now you're just trying to five-star, you can especially skip. Uh, Leroy had shot and killed Mrs. Pattison. So now he's trying to escape. You could either chase him down and capture him. Um, you can fire a warning shot or you could choose the option I do and just shoot the crap out of him and kill him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the rating. And there we go. Five stars. I hope that helped. Hope you enjoyed. And thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more soon.